Hey, we've got Dr. Peter Traber. Uh, he's the CEO and Chief Medical Officer for Galactin Therapeutics. Uh, he's a physician with a specialty in liver and GI diseases. And uh, Galactin Pharmaceutical, I beg your pardon, Galactin Therapeutics yeah. is, a, uh, is a very interesting company. We thought we'd bring him on the air because we never get to have anybody from the, uh, from the biotech, biopharma, uh, science world on. So we thought we'd bring him on. Dr. Traber, good to have you along today. Thank you very much, uh, Sully. It's good to be here. And Russ, nice to meet you. Wow, it's, you look like a doctor. Let me tell you what. First of all, it's not that nice to meet Russ, and you're going to find out why very shortly. <laughs> hey, will you give us a, a, an overview of what Galactin Pharmaceuticals is, or th Galactin Therapeutics is, my bigger pardon? Yeah, Galactin Therapeutics is a development phase uh, biotechnology company, and we're developing drugs for a very big unmet medical need, and that's liver fibrosis or scarring of the liver. Uh, and let me tell you a little bit. Uh, about that. Scarring of the liver uh, occurs uh, regardless of what type of liver disease somebody has. It could be due to alcohol, viruses, uh, fatty liver disease. The final common pathway is that over time you get scarring of the liver. That scarring gets very severe, which is called cirrhosis, and then your liver fails. And currently, there are no medical therapies for this uh, disorder. Okay, let me back up uh, there. So you're saying, so you're saying currently there isn't any. Like, if you have that, you're are you done? Uh oh. Or yeah, essentially, if you have cirrhosis, you can treat some of the underlying causes. For instance, if you have hepatitis C mm -hmm. and cirrhosis due to that, uh, or fibrosis due to that, you can treat the hepatitis C and you can stop the progression of the fibrosis. However, you, uh, it takes a very long time for the fibrosis to resolve. If you're an alcoholic and you're drinking and that's the uh, reason for your liver fibrosis, you can stop uh, drinking and, and sometimes you get better. But in terms of, of specific therapies for the scar tissue, there are no current therapies. And the only wow. way to treat it is a liver transplant. Okay, and so 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 we've identified this horrible problem. Um, yes. and, by, and before, and because because uh, Galactin, by the way, they're a publicly traded company. G A L T is their stock symbol, and you can go to GalactinTherapeutics.com. In fact, I'll tweet that out to our forty thousand as well. But before we get to the best news about this, how many people suffer from this worldwide and specifically here in the U.S.? Do you have any idea? Well, let me narrow it down uh, a bit, uh, Sully, because it's such a big uh, problem, but. The, the most prevalent liver disease in the country is fatty liver disease. Okay. It's where you get fat accumulation in the liver, which leads to inflammation, which leads to fibrosis. Okay. And it's, it's directly related to the uh, epidemic of obesity and diabetes. Uh, there are an estimated 30 million people in the United States with fatty liver disease, which is called NASH. NASH. Uh, of those... Uh, there are about one to two million people with the most advanced fibrosis um, called cirrhosis, mm -hmm. uh, so-called NASH cirrhosis. So as many as one to two million people in the United States have this most advanced disorder, and <clears throat> the only treatment is liver transplantation, and there are only 6,000 liver transplants done per year in the United States. However, Gosh. however, GALT, the stock symbol for Galactin Therapeutics, I'm going to refer to them as GALT for GALT from now on, okay. has a new drug that targets this, uh, well, I, I believe it targets a protein, does it not? To, to, to help right. To help with the, to help with the, uh, the or to help to create an effective treatment. Talk about that. That's exactly right, uh, Sully. Um, uh, we have uh, uh, targeted a particular protein called Galactin-3, hence Galactin Therapeutics. Sure. And uh, this Galactin-3 protein is markedly increased in liver diseases and is a central player in the development of fibrosis. So if you remove the Galactin-3 gene, which you can do in an animal, uh, you can uh, reduce and, and prevent the development of fibrosis. We developed a drug that binds to Galactin-3 and inhibits that protein. And what we found in multiple animal models and now in early human trials is that we are able to see a, not only a prevention of, but a reversion, a reversal of fibrosis in those models. So we're very excited about the possibilities 
uh, for this in, um, in human disease. You know, what's interesting about this, I have to ask you this just straight out, what is it like being the CEO of a biopharma company and have to deal with the FDA? Because I, I know that you guys uh, are in near, uh, near and midterm phase two clinical trials in this thing. That's, that must be the biggest time suck that you have in your life is dealing with the FDA. Am I, am I, am I accurate about that? It is, it is a big um, time commitment, but- uh, That's a nice way to put it. Yeah, very diplomatic, <laughs> doctor. But I will tell you that uh, the FDA and most companies, and I have a, a, reasonably, a reasonable view of the FDA, the FDA is looking at things, ensuring that, they, that drugs that come on the market are safe uh, and that they do what people say they do. I find the FDA, by and large, relatively reasonable as we're going through the development process. Now, everybody has different experiences, sure. but I actually have a, a, a very healthy respect for the FDA, and we've been able to work um, uh, very closely with them and, uh, and have really no complaints about it. Dr. I Traber, I have to ask you, by the way, Dr. Peter Traber is our guest today. He is with Collectin Therapeutics. He's the CEO. He's the chief medical officer. Of course, you get all the information that you'll ever need to by going to CollectinTherapeutics.com. I will also tweet that out. You'll be able to see this interview on our website, BigBizShow.com. In about 30 seconds, you need to tell us where you're at in the process. How fast, how fast could you possibly, I don't know if you're allowed to say this or not, do you think, you think you're close to getting through FDA trials to where you can, uh, you can ring the bell? We are in phase two clinical trials. So okay. phase, phase one trials are basically to show safety and to get some hint of, okay. uh, of activity, and we Got have it. done those trials. We are now in phase two trials, which is the phase when you uh, prove that your drug works in a particular disease. Right. And we have two phase two clinical trials. Right. And then what, is there one more phase three, and that's, and then yes. that's the end of no, it? No, that's right. And then phase three are kind of larger, more confirmatory studies. Right of what you've shown in phase Very two. Good. Hey, will you, come back, will, you come, three, you come, will you come back on the air with us? We'd love to talk to you more about this in the, in, in the next I, weeks to I come. would uh, love to come back on and talk to you about our programs. And uh, if your audience is interested, drug development in general. Fantastic stuff. Thank you so much, Dr. Peter, Peter Traver, Collectin Therapeutics, Doc Symbol, G-A-L-T on The Big Biz Show. Wear scrubs and rubber gloves, That's too. exactly right. Thank you very much.